Hello everyone, welcome back to the monthly winner box here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick, I am your host for tonight. We're watching the match between Jeffrey Chan and Wei Xiong Tan. This is the quarterfinals of our monthly winner box tournament. And uh, Jeffrey Chan here is the 5th C and Wei Xiong is the 4th C. Wei Xiong looks like he's playing the Black Green Constrictor deck, which has proven to be uh, quite a good deck. Yeah. And... Oh man, how do I how do I get back to... How do I get back? Ah, there we go. There we go. Top 8. Let's go change that to top 8. I lost to Wei Xiong's deck in the first round. Oh, really? That bad? Is it good? It's good, right? It's good. It's good. Pros and cons, I guess. It runs out of gas pretty fast if you don't get your. If you don't get your glint sleeve siphoner, uh, you know your you. Your gas is gone. You kind of you, you kind of drawing yeah. yeah. Uh, curving out is of course uh spectacular is fantastic, but um. You need the long term. Yeah. You need a long term. Uh, Adasphere Harvester. I don't think is the best card in this. Uh, in this matchup, yeah, it, uh, yeah, I it, wouldn't put it in the main personally. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and there it goes, separated mm -hmm. into dust. Mm -hmm. But the Glint Sleeve Siphoner here going to be able to draw Wei Xiong an extra card for this turn. And, uh, you know, he's going to be able to draw three extra cards for the next, three uh, for the next two turns as well. Uh, extra two cards for the next two turns. Let's see what's the follow-up play here. Looks like it's a long task cup. Okay, and just passes the turn. Jeffrey here needs to draw another red land uh, to be able to wipe the board, and that would be fantastic for him. Let's uh, see. The oh, he already has the mountain, right? That's right. So he'll probably just hieroglyphic uh, illumination. Into illumination, yeah. Into board, right? Oh and man, oh, no. this Over is where little. yeah, this is where Jeffrey is like yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. He is Lots. going to be able to. This is gonna uh, hurt. Yeah, he's just gonna All wipe right. out the entire board here using his uh, sweltering sunset. Re, re, uh, you yeah, know. blaze it up. Take one. Gone. Uh, and and Wei Xiong, yeah, Wei Xiong here now left with. Uh, three cards in hand? Uh, uh, four cards in hand, which is great. Yeah, if there's a gear hulk, that'll be good. And I see, I do see a gear hulk, but uh, the gear hulk might get countered. So he has to play around. Uh, what's essence what's shatter. a yeah essence, uh, essence scatter as well as a uh, sensor. I don't think you can play around essence scatter at all, but you can definitely play around a sensor. Oh, he goes for it and boom! Sensor. Oh man, sensor. Uh, well, he had to do it. His other cards in the hand are like. Well, rich guy is still okay. Rich guy is still okay, but uh, of course, if you have, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Is that your price pack? Yes. What do you open? Garbage. Shit, I shit, and more shit. I open fire. Okay, and here comes the hissing quagmire. Looks like nice. uh, Jeffrey might just fire off the torrential gear out here. Oh no, he doesn't. Uh, takes it. Yeah, he wants to take it. He doesn't. He wants to hold his gear hulk up. And there's the green belt rampager. Elephant hits the battlefield. Let's see. Uh, what does Jeffrey decide to do? I think he's just gonna cast the torrential gear hulk right now. Get some value off of the torrential gear hulk. Yep. Draw an extra two cards. There yep. We go. Mm. So Jeffrey also, you know, curving out pretty well, I think, uh, for the control deck. Uh, having double access to double red mana very early on is is very important for the sweltering suns. Well, from here on out, looks why like there, why is there this extra chair? Oh gosh, it's like I don't know, in the way of everywhere. <laughs> okay, animates going for. Okay, okay, Magma Spray there will there get rid goes. of the land. Very efficient way of uh, destroying that land. Another Hieroglyphic Illumination. Hopefully he can find... Uh, Another uh, Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk, yeah. But unfortunately he does not find it. So, um, now draw off the top and still not a Gear Hulk. It's a land. He just Maybe. passes the okay. So keeping you know keeping counter spell, uh, counter magic in hand. Is there uh, harness lightning in his hand? I don't believe there's a harness lightning, and here gonna go for the attack. 
you know, he might want to play that pool from tomorrow, or maybe he wants to. Uh, and there he goes, Grass of Darkness. Now, Grass of Darkness is not a very but good play here. Yeah. Oh, oh, but uh, Jeffrey lets it go, uh, probably because pool to pool from tomorrow is going to be. Uh, insanely good yeah, after this. Definitely. He can afford to let his gear house slide because, mm -hmm. I mean, disallowing that to hold my yeah my might six. be open you know opening you for opening you to uh, I'm saying okay so wow uh you know Jeffrey just pull for pull for six and yeah Wei Xiang just scoops it up good job. Yeah, I think in this matchup, the control is actually very heavily favored. Yeah. Because black green, unlike the unlike the red deck wins, is a very mid rangey kind of deck. It mm -hmm. goes to the mid game, which where where the control player is able to have enough mana to eventually take over the game and play Gearhawks and grind a lot of advantage. Okay. What is Wei Xiong's? Oh, okay. no, that's his friend. No, that's his girlfriend. Oh yeah, that's his, yeah, that's his girlfriend. I know. I wish yeah. I had. A, I wish I had a girlfriend. Tips and tips and tricks. I hope they are not. Uh, no, they're messaging. Look, it's a message. Yeah, I know it's a message, but like, yeah. Oh. Hey man, he's holding up a torrential gear hawk, man. You gotta be careful. Anyway, yeah, Jeffrey Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Chan. I I saw him with the void shatter in his hands just now. Maybe that might be nah. Doesn't doesn't really do much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, what is this? Games. Board games twenty one. One week away. Game Sunday. Yo, Ryan, you wanna play for? You wanna, you wanna play games day? Games day. Yeah, alright. Let's play. Oh, games today. awesome. Let's play. You wanna play games day too? I don't know. I maybe. I I still have that jank deck. I might want to play Grixis. Uh, remember, remember, when your deck, remember when your jank deck? Remember your jank? Remember when your jank deck was actually a under the radar good deck? Uh, it's still a good deck, but then. Maybe not under the radar anymore. But why? Why? Still yeah. dies. Still now dies. I I need to tune it for the aggro matchup. Maybe just go uh you know more collective brutalities. Or maybe your mindset has to change. Maybe you have to play more controlish rather than Yeah, exactly. Uh, I know. That might as well just be blue red control, yeah. man. That's that's why I built blue red control. I, I had the same Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like I, I, just blue red I, control, I had man. I had, I underwent the same process. Blue red, uh, fever visions, so I can afford to play things like Thing and Nice. No, I like black. I like black. Black is good. Black Wait, is but like blue, black, blue, black, splash red. Just Greeks is controller. I don't understand why, why do people don't play black because uh, against ram like black is so so powerful. Oh God, like if I'm gonna like strip you, strip you of your hand. Wait, uh, there. didn't you, uh, didn't you mention that the deck plays uh four copies of fever visions main board though? Uh yeah, it does. Or oh, the blue the blue splash is just for fever visions, right? Uh yes, the blue splash is uh, literally only for fever visions. So it could like just be like red black control. That's true. Uh, I want to build back my my Eldrazi, <laughs> my my hand destruction Eldrazi deck. Oh, that's was, fun. Was it good? That's fun. That's if, you, if, you, if you need if you need smashers, I have I have the I have the oh, four have smashers okay. and the four real, uh four top knots here. Okay. So like hand destruction, like exile, this thing, four magma sprays. Oh sweet. four magma sprays, uh four four um what's that? The the two mana, transgress the mine. Uh -huh. And then uh four uh what's the three two what's the three two that, that destroy uh that you process stuff? Um I Wasteland Strangler, right? Yeah, Wasteland Strangler, yeah. In this meta, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, I think you want to play a deck want to play a deck that Wei Xiong's playing, uh, like a mid rangey deck because mm -hmm. these kinds of deck really prey upon the red deck wins. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, some people are one step ahead of you and they play control. And then but, but they lose the way that wins. Yeah. It's so, like a cycle. <laughs> hey, guess what, man? Caesar's Paper Stone, man. Caesar's Paper Stone. You die! Hmm. All right. If you're just joining us, you're watching the monthly winner box here at Great Ogre Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside the future pro, of Young Poon. Let's update and the my scores brother. here. Uh, oh. Jeffrey playing the red blue, uh, red blue control deck, is currently one game ahead of Wei Xiong. This is the quarterfinals, so yeah, Wei Xiong probably gonna draw. Uh, gonna go first. His deck is very aggressive. He is playing the black green constrictor deck. So yeah. 
Lol, shit, shit, and more shit. Nice color commentary. Yes, yes. Crap, crap, and more crap. Uh, that was talking about your your price pack. Yep. Yeah, price shit, packs. Shit. Uh, shit. shit, shit, and more shit. Uh, that, that seems to be the whole case for like color that uh, not color that. Eater revolt. Either, uh, no. Uh, Among cat. Yeah. yeah no. Among. And uh, but is really high now. I really, I I I should sell my hazards. I'm not playing them. Didn't you buy the hazard from me? <laughs> Making profits off your friends profit. is a good profit. Profit. Okay, it's with me. Nice. We have three of them, don't we? Yeah. Cash money. Wait, wait, wait. Which ones? Which one, how, which, how many of them are yours? Two or one or two of them are mine. I uh, can't remember. No, hey, I, protein I, shake. I got one shake. From the yeah, shake. yeah. Hey, shake. What are you doing? Oh, it's chic. Yep. Oh, hey, shake. How much are his rights now? Oh, I like do their thirty USD. Like, like, no, 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 no. Mark said they're 30 USD, but I'm not sure. They're out of stock. Uh, they're out of stock. 12, okay, check, check, MTG, check MTG stocks. MTG stocks? Okay, okay, let's go. MTG stocks. Socks. Alright, let's let's see the good stuff. Show me the money. I don't know, man. Uh, search for a card. Hazard, type it in. What's my phone? Oh, your mom, your mom. Your mother. Hello. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, it's at 20 right now. And rising. Okay. Oh shit. Look at that. Look at that. Spike, dude. Look at oh my look god. Look at the spike. Look at, look at the spike. Look the at spike. Dude. Spike. Dude. Spike look in your that, face. That gradient, man. Spike in the face. That. Okay, I'm gonna sell all my hazards tonight. Like I have four uh I have like two extra copies. Yeah, I have three. I don't understand why I have two extra copies. I went I, I stupidly went to go and buy. Okay. Two at the beginning, so I could play the the Hellbent deck. Uh huh. Yeah, and then I, was, I proceeded to I proceeded to open another three. I was like, hmm. Seems good. Yeah, I opened two for for I think pre-release, and then okay. I opened another three. And thought, oh man, so why yeah. why why? Feels I didn't even bad, drop. Man. I didn't even drop Amon Cat that much. Feels bad, man. Mm. But yeah, now it feels good. Now yeah, we yeah. set it off. People now we, want to buy. we sit on our cards. This is why you keep cards, guys. When they spike, then you sell. Then you sell. Sell, 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 sell or the cards. Them. Or you Prof can play them. <laughs> Profit. Profit. <laughs> okay, here comes Eater Hub for Wei Xiong. Uh, at this point, the Long Task Cup is already beyond Mama Spray range, but Jeffrey Chan might be interested in Essence scattering this. Yeah. Yeah, which he does. Uh, no, prevent that from, uh, from resolving. Yep, and in response, uh, Wei Xiong chooses to pump up his guy. Not sure why he would choose it at that moment, though. Oh, uh, because Jeffrey is tapped out, man. So you can't. Oh, yeah, the, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you can't break All right, the that makes feature. sense. Yeah, Wei Xiong are clearly a better player than me. Yep. Yes. Clearly. Hey, Rian, you beat, didn't you beat Wei Xiong that one time? Yeah, that was like last year, though. <laughs> long, long. I didn't, long, deserve, long, uh, I didn't deserve the win. Long, long <laughs> ago. So long. Almost exactly a long year time ago. ago. Yeah, I, I, the argument could be made. I beat, I beat Jeffrey. So. Okay, so... Uh, oh, here we go. Rishkar. Rishkar gonna try to put on more counters onto that long task cup. If not dealt with, that's this long task cup is gonna be oh, very, break. very big. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Let's it go. Oh, no. This is bad. This is quite bad for Jeffrey. He needs to deal with that long task cup. Yeah, long uh, task cup now at five. Yeah. Uh, only, only gonna get, only gonna grow bigger eventually out of out of devastation range. Yep. And it's gonna be bigger than a than a torrential gear house sooner or later too. Mhm. Mm uh, so here comes so the Braid takes yeah. down the uh rich car, which yeah. well consolation prize. But now there's eight power on the board, and uh, Jeffrey's only got two turns to yeah. deal with all this uh, shenanigans. Yeah, and the wandering uh, fumarole he drew like not really gonna help him that much. Yeah. Uh. So I, well, glimmer of genius will probably be the play at the end of this, but I'm not quite sure what he has to save him because uh. He doesn't have any bounce spells, he doesn't have, you know, it's just clearly just kill, kill, counter, kill, counter, kill, counter. Which is why I like black. Because black allows you to just kill a creature. Yeah. Just destroy that uh, creature. Hasta destroy. Hasta balista, baby. Hasta baby. That's a... Alright, so uh, Glimmer of Genius here. Uh, Magma Spray and some other stuff. I think that's Yeah, a and good. Scoopy Doo Doop. Okay, so that was a very fast game. Game 2. two. And we're going to go to 
Game three, nope. He scores, <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but Young is good, but he's not that good. Uh, also, the games tend to tend to finish after three rounds. Oh, is that dude? That Rishka or that 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 card on the front looks like Oath of Druids. But it's a Rishka. No, it's a forest. It's a forest. Yeah, it's a forest. Oh, okay, maybe it's the Oath of Druids that was painted into a forest. Oh damn, oh, son. <laughs> altering oh, yeah. your expensive cards. Yeah, altering. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> Hey, yo. We'll keep the value of the lands up. Uh, uh, later I show me. Me, have you seen the chat? What? No. Oh man, you need to see this. It's juicy. What? What? Uh, this is juicy. What? What? The butt? Uh, uh, you can't say it on stream. Yeah. No, 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 no. The other one. Which one? That one. This one? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You're not in the group. Here you go. Oh, okay. What happened, man? What happened, man? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> why is he George? Okay, never mind. Why? I'll, I'll tell you later. Uh, if you're just watching, this is this is quite entertaining. I'll I'll go read it later. This yeah, is this fun. is really refresh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. If you're just joining us, you're watching the monthly win a box here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside the future pro of input. Hey guys. Uh, if you're wondering what this monthly win a box, what this Grey Ogre Games Invitational is about, I know I didn't mention it, Do but you? you might be wondering about this Grey Ogre Games Invitational. Yo, I, now you know. Do so, we? I don't know exactly. So now what? I'm going to inform you what this Grey Ogre Games okay, Invitational is. So you play these daily and monthly. So these invitationals, let's start from the top. Yeah. Invitationals is this grand championship. 16 players, uh, 16 of the best players throughout the year who've been playing at uh, Grey Ogre Games events will be invited to this championship. So 16 only. Um, of which Jeffrey Chan is actually one of the, one of the yeah, uh, participants. Yeah. Jeffrey Chan and Reeves Chia who and happened Reeves to Chia, have yeah. punted today's tournament. Oh yeah, yeah. The... the <laughs> Despite, well, uh, Reeves, despite Reeves in already in already, so he despite doesn't really playing red deck wins the best yeah. deck in the format, still yeah, punts, still still punts with four good. points. Yeah. Uh. So these two will be these two have played off in the uh seasonal qualifiers. Oh yeah. Which gains you championship points. But how do you get invited to these seasonal qualifiers? I wonder. You wonder, right? You have to get at least thirty qualification points. So Wait thirty a QPs. What? And you earn the QPs by playing all the weekly and the monthly events. If you play the monthly event, all you need is 30 QP. And that's not hard. Yeah, that's not that it's really easy. not hard. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I just played today and scrubbed out and I still got 10 QP. You got 10 QP, yeah, exactly. And th that's like one third of the way. You already qualified long, long time yeah, ago, long right? Long time ago. You're right? I don't even play the game that much. I just, you know, what's my score now? Yeah, your score is 51. Oh, I'm, I'm just like slightly above you at 54. So now you're like 61. Oh, yeah. And you have like overtaken me. No, no. This is not this is not acceptable. What? Why? Why? <laughs> I will have to draft a lot more. But no. anyway. <laughs> so you get the QPs and yeah. then you get invited to seasonals. And mind you, you're invited. You don't have to pay a single cent. You sit down, you get one free booster pack, and you get one free championship point. Yeah, of course. That's it. I have one championship point. Do you know that? Yeah, me too. Did you know that? Did you know that? No. Yeah, now you know. Yeah. So yeah. I'm still in the running for, <laughs> no, you're not. for this thing. <laughs> How mean, am I not in the running? I just have to play. I just tell Mark, no, I don't want to cast this time we, around. We are protesting. We are revolting. Yeah, we're revolting. Mark, Mark, Mark. Mark, no. we, de we demand wages increase. Yeah. We de we're we're <laughs> going to call in the union. Yeah, we're going to stop. Wait, and wait, and then Mark is just like, yeah. This is, this is quite interesting, actually. Uh, he didn't block with the... Ticketing the ice. Uh, yeah, I think there's a fear that you might get uh, blown out with uh, what do you call Blossoming it? Defense. Blossoming defense. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I guess. So no, now, no, he, now does, he does uh, because he's got mana open for uh, for him to react to that blossoming defense. Okay, so yeah, you you block. Not that's not that's very nice. Wow, Wei Xiong here uh, setting up the super cool super wow. Oh man's, okay. Uh, Hannah's lightning here going to take down one of his sneaky snakes. Snack. 
He's sneaky snake snake. I called snake snessa. All right, so. <laughs> oh my god. He's going to use up his blossoming defense. Uh, so that's why he yeah. didn't want to block. Ah, uh-huh. yeah. but he didn't. He he didn't use the blossoming defense to kill the thing in the ice, though. Yeah, exactly. Because if he tried to hit with the thing in the uh kill, try to kill the thing in the ice, then Wei Xiong would have lost one of his dudes. Oh, his dudes! Wow. Quite unfortunate here because Wei Xiong here, um, having two constrictors but nothing to yeah, no payoffs, no yeah. payoffs, no unfortunately, no Batista, no no Rishka, no no Gearhawk. Yeah, it just lands. Oh my gosh! Look wow. at his hand; it's just a freaking oh, no. a, a lot of lands. That is, is so bad. bad. That is very bad. Oh, uh, no Jeffrey, genius. on the other hand, doesn't have any lands, but uh, looks like he's going to be able to get some lands from the no. Demon of Genius. But no, no lands. Two, two, ah, lands are ah, so elusive. Ah, lands are hard to get. Yeah, lands are like precious jewels. A rare commodity in this world. Yeah, okay. I think he's going to bottom both of them. I was expecting him to cycle the sensor earlier. Yeah, uh, that's true. Okay, so uh, decides to keep the other one. I, I'm not quite sure. Oh, oh your chair here. So yeah. it, I don't know. Then. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I want to be free. Wow, no lands on Jeffrey's side. Wow, He's just gonna pass the turn. Insane. He dug through five cards without lands. No lands. I wish and I could look be Jeffrey. At Wei Xiong, Wei Xiong. I think Wei Xiong is stealing the lands from Jeffrey's deck. Look yeah. at that. He's got like lands of the Wazoo right now. Five energy. Oh my gosh. No, sorry, six energy because he's got two more. All He's right. saying another uh, no, game of he genius. Definitely, definitely hits lands here. So flips up the thing in the ice. Bang. Uh, even if he doesn't draw lands here, he's got a 7-8 who's going to like smash in lands. for a lot of damage. No, no lands! Okay, wow! Okay, so he's going to drop those two cards. Lands. Uh, land. 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 Nope. Well, okay, right, he got okay, a red, so finally. One, one like red ten, land. 10 cards deep. One, one, uh, one, and then finally a sensor as well. Um, yeah, not <laughs> really. That's, uh, that's yeah, a lot okay. of cards, man. Alright, so Quagmire. Magma spray uh, the hissing quagmire yeah, before blocks. Wei Xiong thought he could steal the steal the meme, but yeah, <laughs> it's Magma spray. Uh, all right, and yeah, and because of that, actually Jeffrey doesn't have to discard down to hand size. I suppose he's going to uh, cycle his two, uh, his two cards. Yeah. Yeah. Winding Constrictor the play. Oh, second winding, winding Constrictor. Constrictor. Yeah, because the, I do two Winding Constrictors got pushed back to hand. That's true. I think he will just yep. Essence, Essence scatter, scatter the second one. Uh, wait on a Glint Sleeve a Siphoner Dark and confidant. there's no. Yeah, there's no response from uh from Jeffrey, but he's likely going to cycle his sensor and spray the and try to spray. Yeah. No, he'll cycle his sensor. Okay, no, so he's going to try to spray. Yep. And, and that the goes. Sensor? And cycle the sensor and uh, to just to draw a card. All right. And oh, all right land. Okay, so cool. six lands now and that should be able to, you know, wrap up the game. Yeah. Uh, He's got lots and lots of goodies in his uh, Yeah, his graveyard. hand is really stacked right now. Mm -hmm. There is no way, I think there is definitely no way for Wei Xiong to win. The, that's for... Aggressive mid range decks like these, there's a wind. There's a very small window where you can win, and I think the window is long closed for yeah. Wei Xiong. Unfortunately, I believe that is the truth as well. Uh, he's going to take the harness lightning, going to get rid of that elephant, elephino. Bang. Bang. Oh, okay, good. no, he's going to get rid of the constrictor. Okay, the constrictor actually is a good idea to get rid of because it is a very good enabler. But he does have a second. Um, uh, second Torrential Gearhawk which he will save for a counter spell so now being very very cautious here mm. so forest into Ballista Essence Scatter oh, oh no just wow. a sensor wow and sensor. yeah the bajillion lands death that Wei Xiong no death by drawing lands yeah. Uh, so yeah Wei Xiong that, see that's, that's that's exactly how my game with Ken Chiang went yeah, that yeah, is yeah. exactly Seven how lands. it went never miss a land drop for 8 turns Your Wei Xiong did not miss a land drop for 8 turns and yeah. this game ended within 8 turns how how yeah. brilliant is that anyways uh, we're gonna be back yeah we'll we're be gonna back. come back yeah, Jeffrey, I, I, Jeffrey I'm Christmas. not though I'm gonna go home you're gonna go yeah, home I'm go, yeah. go home go home I, I, I wanna read yeah, this yeah you can, you can read this okay. if I go 
Uh, before we go, I just want to remind you that you can catch the streams every Tuesday and Wednesday. Don't cross the streams though. Uh, at 8 p.m. Singapore time. If you miss the streams, it's okay. Just head on down to greyogregames.com and uh, sorry, youtube.com slash greyogregames. Catch all the replays. If you want to find out more about the invitationals and how to compete in the seasonal qualifiers, go on down to greyogregames.com. And last but not least, do listen to the Power 9 podcast every week. Myself and Alfie, we get together and we talk shop about this little game called Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. Uh, nobody cares about Cass, so we never include him in this uh, rollout. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to take a short break, so don't go away. We'll be back with the semifinals, I hope. Otherwise, uh, split, split. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.